Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all the solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? We are going to show you how you can recover some of your lost um, AutoCAD files. Let's say you are working on CAD and maybe AutoCAD crashed or maybe you failed to save from your data or let's say um, you, you saved at some point and then you actually maybe you mistakenly closed um, the software, right? Good. So we have a particular file here, let's say particular drawing here. We are trying to save it. There are actually three methods we are going to use. However, we are going to um, explain two on this video and then we are going to work on the third one, maybe on um, a subsequent video, right? Good. So now let's try to save this on a particular folder. Good. So we are saving it on a folder called um, Recovery, right? Good. So now let's call that um, and then we click on save now whenever you save um, any AutoCAD file there are there is another file that is being saved with it and that's called what, the backup file right good so we've seen what the backup file right good now if per adventure something happened and then you lost your AutoCAD drawing and then you are just left with this um, backup file what you're simply going to do is to rename this your backup file as what um, a DWG file. So for us to make it different from this other one, let's just add another. Let's make it SSS. Then instead of dot .bak, let's make it um, dot um, .dwg. Right. Good. So we have um, dot .dwg somewhere there, and then we hit enter. That's not always true. So let's click on yes. Good. So we now have what SSS as well as what as um, a, as an AutoCAD file, right? Good. So we can decide to what, open this as well. Good. So you can now see that it has been changed from SS to SSS. So this is one method you can use to to recover your AutoCAD file. Now this works when you have maybe saved your data before, right? Good. It works when you save your data, not when you are just working and then you know you've not made any saves, right? Good. So with this, when you change that .bak file to .dwg file, you have what your AutoCAD file back. Now another method is that let's say you're working on AutoCAD and then it crashed. You've actually saved and then it crashed. So now let's um, try to simulate. We are going to crash this card because we've actually saved to some point. So let's just um, add a few things. Let's say Let's pick a rectangle there and then let's um, add this. So we are going to crash the AutoCAD and then restart it. So we are now going to use what the next method to check how we are going to what, recover the file. You know, we've not saved presently. The last save was without this rectangle, right? Good. Now you can see the prompt um, join recovery. In your previous work session, the program unexpectedly failed. Information, may, information has been gathered from the drawing files that. We are giving at that time now the back of files list displays now you can see this is the drawing recovery what pop up in the right good so now let's just click on ok then let's see what the last file is now under the back of files we have what our ss and then our what sss because those are the two data we were working on before we simulated the crash right good so you can see you can see these two um, files that we are working on before we simulated the crash so we can decide to click on that you can see the preview if we click on this you can also see the preview right good so we can just decide to what? open right good so we've opened that if we decide to and then we right click on this and then open it as well good so with this you have been able to maybe recover the the last saved what data remember that before we simulated the crash there was a rectangle inside this plot right however because we did not save the rectangle that was not the last saved or yeah that was not the last saved data that AutoCAD was able to recover for us what the card was able to recover for us was the last save data without the rectangle in it, right? Good. So with this, you can decide to add the rectangle and 
do a few stuff but one thing is very important always ensure that you press ctrl s you know whenever you save the file part where you want to save your data like maybe going to file then coming down to um, save as right good save as then you've indicated where you want to save it you can just automatically be clicking on ctrl s so if your autocad maybe adventure crashes you can always come down to the backup files or maybe the recovery manager if you can't see the recovery manager you come down to files then you go to what join and utilities and then other join utilities you can see what join recovery manager so this is another way you can assess what the the the, the file recovery manager right good so when you click on this um, join the um, recovery manager this um, backup files um, window will come up and then you can be able to assess some of the last save data that some of the last save data that maybe you have before your AutoCAD um, encountered any crashing error or whatever the case is right good so we can just close that and we have our drawing here right good we can now continue with um, whatever modifications we have been doing or we want to do with our drawing so we'll show you two methods um, by saving the .bak file um, as a DWG file and then by accessing what your recovery manager right good so with either of these two you can recover to a great extent your lost data and we are going to show you one other method in our subsequent video so until we see you keep being good at whatever you're doing using CAD and you know whatever process it is and we are going to see you in our next video Keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.